I spoke with all the candidates, including those defending their seats, incumbents, Chris Shaw and Matt Joseph. Take a look at them on your screen. Now, Chris Shaw was first elected to the commission in 2015. He says he ran for the city commission to be a voice for small business owners. He does have a business that is more than 100 years old in West Dayton, a community that he loves and a community that he has vowed to get back to what it was, get it bustling once again. You also have Matt Joseph, who was also running. He is the longest serving member on the Dayton City Commission, being first elected in 2003. He says he is committed to improving Dayton's housing stock, beautifying neighborhoods, and improving safety, and improving safety, just to name a few. Now, the incumbent candidates are facing Jordan Wartham, Marcus Bettinger, Valerie Duncan, and David Azradi in the runoff election. Bettinger tells me on the phone, it's time for a new vision. Jordan Wartham is also running. He is no stranger to the Dayton community. He was a Dayton police officer for seven years. He recently just ran for Montgomery County Commissioner, and it was a close race. David, as, excuse me, David Azradi also running, and Valerie Duncan. She tells me on the phone that people want change on the city commission. Now, the top four candidates with the most votes tonight, tonight will advance to the November election. Now, that will make for an interesting race and also outcome. Keep in mind, many city residents have felt that the current commission is divided. That became very clear last year during the budget battle with Shaw, Joseph, and the mayor on one side and Turner Sloss along with Fairchild on the other. And in March, the commission voted to approve a contract for mediators to help city leaders put their differences aside. In the last two years, I've covered the Dayton City Commission and I can tell you I've never seen anything like this. So tonight I will be watching the numbers for you and all the candidates tell me that they, that they will also be watching your votes come in. So be sure to stay with us on air and online for the very latest. Back to you.